Aish radiallahu anha asked the Prophet sallallahu about plagues. And the Prophet sallallahu said that plagues are a punishment that Allah sends to whomever He pleases. And Allah has made it a means of mercy for the believers. It is a punishment to some and a mercy for the others who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That no one stays at a place of plague and expects Allah to reward him and knows that nothing will happen except what Allah has decreed, except that he shall get the reward of a shaheed. This is in Sahih Bukhari. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Hadith is Mutafaq Ali Bukhari Muslim, the plague is considered a shahada for every believer. So the plague is a mechanism for shahada. Now the context of Amwas in particular, uh, Ta'un Amwas, which is the plague that I'm going to talk about inshallah ta'ala. It's actually narrated at an interesting time from the Prophet So the Prophet did not live to see this plague, but he prophesied it. So, Awf ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Online Quran Teacher Institute. Registered and largest international online Quran teacher for Muslim all over the world. We are providing online highly qualified Quran teacher, male and female. Our teacher have highly qualified and well experienced and educated. So learn Quran and Tajweed 24-7 with certified live teacher. From any time, anywhere in the world in this COVID-19 coronavirus situation. We have students in US, Canada, UK, Australia, Europe and other countries. We teach 24 hours, 7 days in the world. You select your time and date. Our courses 1. Nurani Kaida with advanced Tajweed 2. Najara reading Quran with Tajweed 3. Quran memorization for daily prayers 4. Quran memorization for daily recitation 5. Quran memorization for hips 6. Masnoon Duas and Namas 7. All Duas for prayer 8. All basic Duas used in daily life 9. Basic Islamic knowledge 10. Prophet story and Islamic story 100% satisfaction online classes English, Urdu and Arabic language spoken teachers Male and female teachers are available for male and female students No age limitation To master Islam the Quran Start to claim the leader of success today. Contact us today. went to the Prophet ﷺ during Ghazwa Tabuk, Battle of Tabuk, and he was sitting in a leather tent And the Prophet ﷺ is sitting in his tent. And it's really interesting what he says. Count six things, six things between I and the Day of Judgment. The Prophet ﷺ said, the first one, Mauti, my death. Then he said ﷺ, Thumma Fathu Bayt al-Maqdis. And then the conquest, of Jerusalem. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, ثم موتان يأخذ فيكم كعاص الغنم. The Prophet ﷺ said, and then after that, a plague that will afflict you and kill you in great numbers, just like a plague that would run through sheep. The Prophet ﷺ said that that would be the third thing. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, and I'll mention the other three just to finish the hadith. He said that you would have an increase of wealth 
to such an extent that even if one is given a hundred dinars, he would not be satisfied. So wealth comes upon the ummah. The ummah experiences a great period of wealth. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, an affliction, a fitna that no household, Arab household would escape. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a truce between you and Ben al Asfa, which are the Byzantines, the Romans, who will betray you and attack you under 80 flags. Under each flag will be 12,000 soldiers. So the implication is that the Roman Empire would not be the traditional Roman Empire. It would break into nations and different flags, and those nations would gather against you. After you had a peace with them, they would gather against you. And you can kind of understand now why the Sahaba thought the Day of Judgment was in their time. Like if you think the Day of Judgment is around the corner and imminent, first of all, every generation of Muslims thought that. And the Sahaba themselves really thought that they were going to experience Yom Al-Qiyamah. Why? The Prophet Sallallahu death was in what year? 633. And then, literally in order, Fatḥu Bayt al-Maqdis, the opening of Jerusalem, was in the year 637. Okay? So just a few years pass, and then you have the opening of Jerusalem, and then you have the plague that the Prophet ﷺ was talking about of Amwas, Ta'un Amwas, which was the year 639. And the town of Amwas is a town in Palestine. It's only about 25 miles historically away from Jerusalem. So you've seen three of the six signs pass just like that in a matter of a few years. So if you feel as you're kind of watching everything happening in the world today, and you're like, it must be Yom Al-Qiyamah coming around the corner, SubhanAllah, imagine if you lived in that time. So let's get to this plague, 639 in the town of Amwas, the Khilafa is the Khilafa of who? Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The Muslims had just entered into Jerusalem, they just settled Al-Quds, they of course were expanding in Asham in greater Syria at the time and actively obviously at war with elements of the Roman Empire, with the Byzantines at the time. And suddenly this plague breaks out, Sta'un breaks out, right? The earliest Muslims, some of the earliest Muslims would die in this plague. In this plague, it would be about 25,000 people uh, that would die in Ta'un Amwas. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu heard about it and Umar radiallahu anhu decided to make his way over to Asham uh, to be with his people. Umar radiallahu anhu was a man who if the people were suffering, he wanted to suffer with them. He said, How could I claim to be a shepherd of my flock? And I'm not touched with what they are touched with. So I have to go struggle with them. I've got to go strive with them. So he intended to go there and to fight it himself. As he was about to enter, some of the Sahaba came to meet him. And it was typical that the generals would come out to meet the Khalifa before he enters anyway, right? To sort of inform him about the situation as is taking place. Abu Ubaidah al Jarrah radiallahu ta'ala anhu was of course the leader at that time. He came out to Umar radiallahu anhu and Umar radiallahu anhu asked him about the situation. Abu Ubaidah said, we are falling like sheep. Using the same language of the Prophet Sallallahu people are dying right and left. And this was the first time the Sahaba had ever encountered uh, something of this sort. So Umar radiallahu anhu started to take shura from the people. He started to consult from them about what his next step should be. Some of them told Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you should return to Medina with your core because you should not be struck with what they are struck. That, you know, it's catastrophic as it is, but if you die from this, and if the people that you came with die from this, then that spells doom for the ummah, right? That has much greater implications for the entire ummah. So you have not yet entered, and go back to Medina, take those that are with you, and don't get touched by this. Some of the Sahaba told Umar radiallahu anhu, tawakkal ala Allah, trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you should come in and you should fight this uh, with the people they need to see uh, that leadership. Most of the people told Umar radiallahu anhu, it's important for you to go back to Medina. And if even if you survive this, then you might take some of its effects back to Medina and imagine this spreading through Medina as well. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Online Quran Teacher Institute. Registered and largest international online Quran teacher for Muslims all over the world. We are providing online highly qualified Quran teacher, male and female. Our teachers have highly qualified and well experienced and educated. So learn Quran and Tajweed 24-7 with certified live teacher. From any time, anywhere in the world in this COVID-19 coronavirus situation.
We have the students in US, Canada, UK, Australia, Europe and other countries. We teach 24 hours, 7 days in the world. You select your time and date. Our courses 1. Nurani Kaida with advanced Tajweed 2. Najara reading Quran with Tajweed 3. Quran memorization for daily prayers 4. Quran memorization for daily recitation 5. Quran memorization for hips 6. Masnoon Duas and Namas 7. All Duas for prayer 8. All basic Duas used in daily life 9. Basic Islamic knowledge 10. Prophet story and Islamic story 100% satisfaction online classes English, Urdu and Arabic language spoken teachers Male and female teachers are available for male and female students No age limitation To master Islam the Quran Start to claim the leader of success today. Contact us today.